we have just with the previous documents we have redacted the document I will then sit down Malo, to allow my yeah. learned friend to set out the grounds on which the admissibility of the document is being challenged yes Mr. Mgomizuru what are the grounds for the Court, please. Court, please, my lord. Mm. It's my instructions that are grounds upon which yeah. the, is that the accused was forced to make a confession. Was forced to make a confession. That's correct, my lord. Was assaulted in the present of the witness that is coming to testify. In the presence of the Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Rapat. Rapat. That's correct, my lord. And further that the confession was not written by himself. By whom? It was written, it wasn't written by Rapat. It was brought. A, a, a statement was already written, so he was ordered to sign the statement. So it's my instruction that it was not made freely and voluntarily. Is it a confession or a statement? It I was a statement. A statement embraces everything. A Admissions, state. confession, but we are lawyers. It's a we statement. Have it, we have read a statement. That's correct. Is it a statement? It's a, it's a statement. statement. Okay, fine. Yes. So the statement was already written. Was already written. And? He was coerced to sign the statement. By? By... Uh, Mr. Kenel. Sia coerced to sign the statement. Yes. By? By Colonel Rappard. By Rappard, okay. In the presence of the police. In the presence of the police. Presence of the police. Who assaulted him. Okay, so it was signed inside Raparu's office. In the presence of other police. Hmm? It was not in the office. It was at the police station in Deep Blue. Yeah, well, I don't know. So it, it was. No, no, no. It's rock. Hello? My lord, it was at the police station, at Morocco police station. No, no, not Deep Not Deep Loof, I, I confuse it with accused number one. Okay, I beg so your pardon. the statement was brought into Rapparu's office. That's correct. Oh, it was just in the police station. It was in the police station. Where everybody just moves and goes about. Moving, yeah. Is that so? Not in an office. Not in an office. Okay. So this was in the police station at Morocco. At Morocco. And in the presence of, 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 of other police. Of other police officers. Okay, fine. Thanks. That is all. Thank you. Mr. Ntanzige, umelu wako uti imbange lage yuguti nipigi sege le statement devesi u kenele rapatu azo ufaka zangaso ingoba uti wenage kwa le tuanje wakusek baliwe kuwena uguti nje au sainde ufutige wenage ushaywa ushaywa eko na u kenele rapatu lo ego yena uzo nike zango ufaka zi uletelwa kele statement esesiri iti kwa tuanje sainde pela nuguti wapo kwa futu po kwa uyena Urapadu, Logo Wenzega, Ukona, Ama Poisa, Ama Poisa, La Egabu Wona, Ayek Shai, Wenzega Gonga Loco, a police station, Yase Moroka. Okay, yes, Mr. That's a good place, my lord. State calls the witness, Lieutenant Colonel Mohali Solomon Rapadu. Yeah, because there is a dispute concerning the admissibility of the 
the statement allegedly made by Mr. Sibia. Ndanzi. I just don't see. Mr. Ndanzi, sorry, Ndanzi, eh? Yes. Which statement is disputed on the basis that it was not freely and voluntarily made? Consequently, a trial within a trial is ordered to <coughs> is declared to be the procedure. And as we all know, the state has the onus to prove that the statement was freely and voluntarily made. Okay. I want you to finish the recitation. Any sober, <laughs> sound and sober senses without any duress. Okay. Thank you. That's a good business. Name is language. No one speaking English. English. Okay. Name is Mohali Solomon Rapat. Any objection in taking the oath? No objection. Do you swear that the evidence you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing else but the truth? Raise your right hand and say, so help me God. So help me God. The witness is Sonia. Which language do you prefer, Kenan? I'll, I'll, my Lord, I'll speak English. English, okay. Thank you. I'm asking because we had a problem. We don't have a paid at all. So, Rapat, you can participate, okay? Thank you. Thanks. No, that you don't have, my Lord. Not me. Okay. Is it correct that you are a lieutenant colonel in the South African police and attached to Enadale detectives? That's correct. We can say that you are lieutenant colonel forty and seven of my detectives as Enadale. In what capacity are you attached to Enadale detectives? <coughs> as a detective commander. You command the war or armed detectives. Since when? Since when have you been attached to Enadale detectives? Since 2018. When did you join the South African Police Service? 1988, 06, 02. Uh, 1988, 06, 02, Ukalawa, Mige, Oksebenja, can you succinctly set out your career history since you joined the South African Police until now? Uh, I passed out in June 1988, and I got stationed at uh, Hillbrook Police Station. Uh, I passed out in June 1988, and I was stationed at the police station uh, at yes, I transferred myself to Ranfontein Police Station in 1991. Yes. And at Hillbro, at which section were you attached? I was attached to the crime prevention uh, unit. Nang seven zage go unit then nage a vimbage na manda ge uplelesi the crime prevention. Yes, you can continue. Then in 1993 I joined the detective service at Ranfonte. Was se guti ge 1993 ngasa ng joina yonage i detective detectives at Ranfonte. Yes. 1995, I was transferred to Westland Vehicle Crime Unit. Was it good to 1995? I'm not saying so. I get crime unit A model vehicle crime unit at Westland. Yes. 2001. 
I was transferred to Western Maiden Robbery. Kwa siku kutu 2001, ngasiwa ke e Westland Maiden and Robbery. Yes, 2002, I was promoted to the rank of captain. Kwa siku kutu 2002, ngasiwa ke promote ake na wabang kuplange skunza ake, uguwe ku captain. We still at Westland Maiden Robbery. That's correct. Ngang says the Westland Diga Meta in Dobari. Yes. Two thousand and four. I was transferred to Soweto Meta in Dobari. Was it going to two thousand and four? Ngase Diga a Soweto Meta in Dobari. Two thousand and six, the unit was nationally restructured. Was a good thing. Two thousand and six, unit layo ge good nation ge yase iya shindwa ge nama by by structure abusha. Are you referring to the Maiden Robbery Unit? That's correct. Kuluma ngayo ge the Maiden and Robbery Unit. Yes. 2006, I I was transferred to Morocco Detectives. Kwa siku timu 2006 na sengi ya kuguma Detectives ase Morocco. The very same year of restructuring. Na loyo niya na loyo kwa kwa kshinjua na yoyo kwa izindu. Yes. Uh, 2007, I went for DPCI, the Hawks at uh, the provincial office. What's the good thing? 2007, you can office about using good DPCI, no matter what business you are getting, good thing, the Hawks, we obviously get the province, no matter what it's Yes, and, and which unit did you join there at DPCI? It was a provincial provincial office dealing with heist. Uh, office Yes. Can you just for record purposes, DPCI stands for? Correct. That is the Directorate for Priority Crimes. Yes. Investigation. Investigation, yes. With DPCI, you may have a Directorate for Priority Crimes Investigations. Yes. In 2019, I mean 2018, I returned. I returned back to Morocco. Kwa sababu 2018 ni kengasen guyela kona ge en Morocco. Was it 2009 or 2018 when you went back to Morocco Police Station? Which year was it? 2018. Uh, it was, uh, <coughs> yeah, 2009, yes. Thanks for the correction. Yes, and in what capacity did you go back to Morocco Police Station? I was still a captain. And to which unit at the police station? 
I was the the head of uh, serious and violent crimes. Ngangi i opete kuna mage i i head dige e guma serious violent crimes. Detectives. Correct. Bona ge abape ni nama basish. Yes. I stayed there almost for ten years. Nothing I shall have a lap on stamping Minyaga O ten. Yes. So that will be up to which year? Twenty nineteen. Uh Bazu Bashaya twenty nineteen. Yes. I got promotion the very same twenty nineteen. Nasan Tolaga Ukushla and Geskunta or twenty nineteen and become the detective commander at Naledi Police Station. Nabage U Detective Commander a police station yes in Naledi. And what was your rank? I was uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Now I say, managing Lieutenant Colonel. Yes. And then uh, twenty twenty I was taken to Ennerdale Police Station. Was about to go twenty twenty and attach again I mean I saw I get Ennerdale Police Station. Where I'm where I'm still the detective commander. La Engso Detective Commander Conag. I just want to show you an exhibit that is serving before this court. <coughs> Sorry, before you do that, have you given that, that exhibit you, you say you're going to use to all the councils here? Y yes, because I don't have it. For, for reduction. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Yes. Well, we did and it up as part of the but okay, okay, fine. We will make a copy of fine. It's a, it will be exhibit HH. I just want to show it to my police. Paragraph 15.1 has been redacted. All the councils have that document. Yes, they, 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 they do. I just want to show you exhibit uh, HH. Do you recognize that uh, document? Correct. Yeah, but that document is not here. It's here. Yes. Can you go ahead and put the contents thereof on, on, on record? That's correct. Yes, you may proceed.
on 2020-06-19-06-50 was contacted by Colonel Kininda to say there is someone suspect named Bongani Cindy, Cindy So Ndanzi who want to make a statement. Uh, on 2020-06-19-06-50 the witness read it as Cindy so, but I see it is Sandy so. Bongani Sandy so Ndanzi, officer Uwenza is that man. Yes, and, and just, just before you proceed, can you maybe just set out the events that led to the completion of uh, Exhibit HH? On the 18th of June, uh, at about uh, 20 hundred hours, I received a call from the now Brigadier Kininda. Gay uh, 18th of June, uh, 2020, is Kati Babu, 80, Epsugu, Atolage, Utingo, Udoguya Guyanage, Manjeg, Esegu, Brigadier Kininda. He requested me to assist in obtaining a confession. confession. And I agreed. Manga. And uh, on the following day, on the 19th, 06.50, the same brigadier contacted me after I, just for confirmation, to say I'm still coming. Uh, what's a good thing in London, London, I'm going to say, 19th, June 2020, is cutting 10 to 7, XN, we'll break a deal, lawyer, we'll pin the footy, we'll Yes. And then I arrived that morning. He was not there. Where did you arrive? At Morocco Police Station. Nafiga again a police station yes in Morocco. Yes. I was given a room next to a crime office. Nani ke zwage i kumbi e tu zeke ku office na mabizo ngo kuti ke crime office. Yes. The accused person was brought to me. Yes, he was brought by John, Jonathan of EMPD. While the target with Jonathan were EMPD. Yes. He, he then brought him and leave him in my office. I told him to leave the office. Um, the target was a hamburger and I'm here to go to get a lot of me in my office. He then closed the door. Was a father gave to where he went. I could not confirm. Yes. I then took out my appointment certificate where I introduced myself. 
to the accused person. Nasen kipa ge certificate sam ego is kunse ge sawo sbos chen sayo ge ugo tige impela ge ngi somse benzi kuye na ge chen sayo na umanga lele na msola. I told him that um, justice of the peace. Ngai kaza ge ugo tige ge justice of the peace. After I have noticed that is of sober mind. Loko kwenzega emuva kuguti sengi bonyelege na masenge nsekselege kuguti ge usem kondo niko pelele. Yes, and that he mustn't be afraid. No guti. Of me. Angange sabi. I ask him the language he is using. Gambuza kuguti ulipi ulimi alkulumayo. And he responded that is a Zulu. Wapendi lage wati uum Zulu. Yes. I told him I'm a baby. But I know Zulu. Ngamchela uguti mina ngi umpedi kote Zulu nga sasi. Yes, and where do you know the language from? This is Zulu. In the early days when I arrived in Johannesburg, even my stay for the first ten years, I was staying by the hostel. Ngati mshushi siya mbuza kukuti mwusi uti zulu ya sazi usazi la pige Utige mangsa figa ya kona la ekuli Futige ni minyaga nje ya miopala ya mangsa figa isa ten years ne Isa ten years Minyaga ya uten Minyaga ya uten ya miopala mangsa figa jenga angsa de hostel Yes Where is domination is by the Zulu nation Lapoge aba ningi ge ilabo aba kuluma isi zulu. Yes. And then, where does your knowledge of isi zulu? Is it the only source of knowledge for isi zulu? Or does it does your knowledge derive from other sources? That's correct. I at my workplace. I had so many friends. This Zulu ge also go to Jeng Aspun de la ge kona lapo na mage e hostel kota ge nala e ngang sebenza kona ngang nabanga ni abaningi. I even took further lot of statements on my investigation. Nei tatmen de e ningi ge ge itati le ge ku penyo lo ami. Yes, but if you say you had lots of friends, to just explain what you mean. Who is speaking Zulu? Yes, and if you say you took down lots of statements, what do you mean? I took a lot of statements from Zulu nationals. Yes. Yes. That way translated into English. <coughs> yes. Any other source for your knowledge of Isizulu? No, I think uh, <coughs> that is all related to my work related. And for how long were you exposed in the workplace to the Isizulu language? For my entire service, my lot. Uh, Isizulu
Yes, we can continue. You say you told him that you are not in, so to speaking, but you know this is rule, and then what happened further? And we agreed that uh, we can continue in obtaining such statement. Yes. I then warned him in terms of Section 35, Act 108 of 1996. Section 35, 1996. Yes, and which law is that? Is the constitutional law? Law uh, Yes, and what was the extent of the warning that you are, that you gave him? That uh, he has the right to remain silent. And everything that he will say to me is going to be written down. And be used as evidence in the court of law against him. Yes. That he has the right to appoint his attorney of his choice. And if he doesn't have any financial background or he doesn't have any finances, the state can afford to give him one for free. Yes. Yes. I then ask him, do you understand it? And he, and he responded, yes, I understand it. Yes. As I then asked him further that uh, what is that that you want to do? He said, I'm still willing to proceed in making a statement with, him, sorry, sorry. without any legal representative. I then asked him further Yes. I further warned him that uh, whether he was assaulted. He said, No, I was never assaulted. Further asking whether he's been promised or he's been enticed in anyhow to uh, make the statement to me. That's an imbuza Uguti Watenjiswa Yini, no my corn and jay in the la hair and no maga because of a guy in jay ends the statement in me now. He said no, he was never in, in ties. I further asked him whether he was making it voluntarily or, and freely. He responded saying yes. <clears throat> 
is the, 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 this price that you've just explained, the, the warning that you admonished, was it before or af after starting with the completion of uh, exhibit HH? It was before. Yes. What happened further? I then further took down his statement. Yes. But at what point did you then start completing exhibit HH? It was before I can start with the state, the main statement. Yes. Yes, you've explained that you uh, explained various rights to him before you started completing exhibit HH. Now, at which point did you start completing exhibit HH? It was after. I have explained in his rights and that he was willing to make the statement voluntarily. Yes. Yes. And where did you get uh, the, the, the form as per exhibit HH? It was part of my stationery. I formed the Nagi Wabu in Nanyaga, Yaloku, and the Nagama Engang Pet, the whole number of which would be stationary. Yes, you can go ahead and put the contents there on record. I think you, you were at the second paragraph. Yes. Police station. Fosloras case number 636 10 2014 charge murder language of suspect Zulu and is currently held at police station Pretoria North. Lanage Ibekwega Agamin in Ningua, Nogoti police station, the Fosloras, the case number 636 10 2014, Ikala, Ulala. Ulimi, Lamsola, Isizulu, Isteshi, Away, Kunexo Nage, Ipolisteshi, Ipratoria, North. At 07.30 on this 19th of June 2020, at Cluster Office with Bongani, Sanjiso, Ntanzi, Residential Address 3125, Freedom Park, Phase 2, Rustinbeck. Telephone unknown, work address, contractor, not applicable contractor, telephone number unknown, identification number is 90-1202-6197-083. Apparently in his sound and sober senses appears before me, Lieutenant Colonel <laughs> Uh, in number, Mazis, no, my ID number 9012026197083. Bugega age ese kondo nige ngo pelele e pambi guami u Lieutenant Kenel Muhale Solomon Rapatu. After the time and the date you mentioned cluster office, what does that refer to? It's uh, the name from the accounting office, Morocco. Lanage cluster office Ukulumagenge office Gileo, yes, a Morocco, no matter, a Babucon. Yes, Morocco, what? Account is an accounting station. Yes. Station, cluster office. Yes. Station, let's see, getting a pants while the cluster office get in Morocco. Just mention it fully, it's Morocco. 
Morocco Accounting Station. Yes. But if it's a station, what are you referring to? Police station. Yes. From a station, some police. Yes. Residential address. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, you can continue. The deponent was brought to my private office by Constable Jonathan, EMPD of the South African Police and only the deponent, Kongani Sandiso Ntanzi. Uh, Constable Jonathan, EMPD, Police of South Africa, can you just put the, your designation there under your name? Uh, can you repeat, please? Your designation, your, 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 the position that you're holding, just after your surname there. There are words in brackets, just, just put that on record. No, no. Yes. You can't fill in the form now. Yes. No, it, it's on record, man. Yeah, but it, you can't write it now. I see it's on record. Lieutenant Col Col Colonel, you don't, you don't see it. No, no. no. Um, just after when you say, Sorry, when you say designation, what do you mean? Um, the, the words justice of the peace appears. I just wanted him to put it on record, my lord. If he just put that on record. Correct. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Moali Solomon Rapadu, justice of the peace. Yes, it's this. Yes. Yes, we just wanted to come on record, my lord. Oh, I see. You wanted him to utter it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You may proceed. The interpreter and I are in the office and nobody else. The, yeah. okay. can pass it. the deponent is further informed that he or she is in the presence of a police officer who is as such a justice of the peace. At this point, I present my appointment certificate and explain what the justice of peace is, as well as the fact that I bear no knowledge of the case. I inform him or her that he, he has nothing to fear and can therefore speak freely and that, if necessary, protection against any irregularity can be provided for him or her. A Kumega Galan Uti Mina Doliga Nami, a Basso of Visi, a gay communumuntu, was a Jaguage, Uguti Manjege, Pambigo, Poisage, a Futige, Oguich, a sister of the peace, Gales Gabe, Gales of Scatigas and Jengisage, a certificate Sami, so Provan and Jenge Poisa, Gassing and Kazelage, Ugutige, a sister of the peace, Ini. No go to footy get Anna Loaz, no more Angazi Luto and get other lady, nothing in Jella footy, or go to Anna Angesabi Luto, no go to footy get a cool leg, a cool menge, a cool legale, Uma goodness jingoge, Uzo, Vigelag, and Muzo Vigelagage, Nagupi, no more you goopy, O Gunga Hambi, Gas, no more Unga Hambi, Gentel. The third person is asked if he he or she was informed of the reason for his arrest as prescribed by the section 35 of the final constitution his answer was yes was a ebuzwa ke ukuthi ke ingaba bamazisile noma bamchazele yini ngesizathu sokuboshwa kwakhe eh was ngaye phansi kwakhe ke section 35 waphendula ke wathi yebo The said person is further informed of his or her rights as prescribed by the section 35 of the final constitution. He was informed of the right to remain silent and warned that anything he says may be held against him at a court of law. And he has the right to, he has the right to consult with a legal practitioner of his choice where substantial injustice would otherwise result to be provided with the service of a legal practitioner by the state. If a minor has the right to be supported by his or next of kin or any of his choice or for her 
choice. Regarding number two above, are you aware that you are entitled to the service of a legal representative of your choice? Before you proceed with the making of this statement, should you require the service of a legal practitioner yet be, un be, yet be unable to afford such? You may be, you may apply for legal aid for assistance. Should your application succeed with the legal aid, the state will pay all the legal costs of the appointment, appointed legal practitioner on your behalf and that you don't have to pay anything. Do you understand the explanation above? The response was that yes. Was a Kubega again in Jelag and among Mazasag, who took a Pantuka Kega U section thirty five, who got to get Unelunga Loktula and Asho Luto, a quiet so afoot, Uti Nagupi, Agushoyo, who must say Jensi Sang again, Naganjan of Fagazi and Cantolo, Noguti Unelunga, Lokumisana, Noma Consulta, no Mavi, or Ketwe Uyena. La Konage, Kuno, Gwenzuga, Nomakuno, Kungenzaga, Guti Gube, no Ublungi, Sapungenzeg, and Gensle Lage, Poguti, and Anigazwag, Ummevi, Noma Edigazo, Uona, Umbuso, Noguti Uma, Guti Gang, Gominaga, Usemani, Una Lunga, Guti Bekonage, Umundu Omesega, Yolap, Umundu Oketu, Vienna, My Lag, and Alice Quayso, Esip number two, Langa Pezlu, Uyazi, Yini, Uguti Unelunga, Loga, Loguti Ube, Nomevi. Okay, to when I got Pam Vinigo Guti Ukubege, no Wenzel is a start man, the Umago Gutige, a officer Uguti Ube no Mavi, Godwage, a Wazige Uguti Umkokele, Usungenzage is Taylor, so Guti legal AD, Ignate, Umago Guti is Taylor Sakoga, Sipumelege, a legal AD, a Umbuso or Nage Uzo Kokelage in Jago Lezo Gazo Koga Umeli Loyo. Ozo mela wena, nuguti futi aguna luto wena, ol kokayo, ingabe logu engi kazayo, langa pezul uyaguzwa yini, impendule yake yati yebo. Do you wish to contact a legal practitioner of your own choice or apply a legal aid before you proceed to make this statement? The response was no. In our officer, Uguti Yenig, Ukuman, no Meli, or Wako, Meli, or Keto Wena, no Mage illegal aiding a Pambilin, go to Kobega, when there is a statement, or a pen lag, what it car. Do you have the name of the legal practitioner, attorney of your choice, that I can call now? That's it. The answer was I do not have any lawyer, and I do not want the use of the attorney, neither the legal aid board. I'm, I'm giving freely. I'm giving freely the statement. Mbuzo lande la yoge what? Sorry. Mbuzo lande la ingaba unalo yini ikamala mevi gelona officer ubuti amele engi gamfone la kona manje angi na ye umevi futige. Angi funi uksebenzisa umeli no magu umeli we legal aid is start mending is nigeza ngoku kulegi ile. As a court please, my lord, we've approached the time for the long adjournment. We requested your registrar to convey a message regarding the health of one of the court officials, my lord. The what? Regarding the health of one of the court officials. Yeah. There, there was a request that um, the court official be given the afternoon to recuperate, my lord, in that we adjourn at this stage until tomorrow. Until? Until tomorrow. Who is that official? The, 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 the court interpreter. Oh, the court interpreter. Yes. Okay. Any objections, Mr. Lobezu? No, Joseph, my lord. Mr. Nisi? I've got none, Mr. My lord, I have no objection. Thank you. No objection, my lord. You don't want to be shown a certificate? You don't want to be shown a certificate? No, no. See. Okay, I'm told that uh, due to the exigency which is a reason concerning the health of the interpreter, Mr. Jonas, it appears he needs some medical attention this afternoon. Consequently, there's a request that this court should at this stage adjourn until tomorrow. For that reason, there appears to be no objection from the defense. Neither is there any objection from the court. Consequently, the application for 
Ajani, until tomorrow is granted. Lieutenant Colonel, will you be present tomorrow, available? Correct, my lord. Where do you live? Stay. So it too. Oh, I thought you were going to go Okay. Okay, for that reason, then we adjourn until tomorrow. Okay.